Welcome back YouTube, this is Two Point Show, coming back with more Idle Heroes content. Today we're going to talk about Guild War, because I feel like it is still new enough and some of you guys are very, very beginning, you know, of the game, so I feel like now is a perfect time to discuss it. So as you can see, we just got promoted to Royal Amethyst yesterday, or today I guess, depending on however you look at it, um, and that is what everyone is pushing for. Just because we reached this doesn't mean we're going to keep it. So sit back, relax, while we discuss everything. Um, for those of you super, super new, you get put into clusters of five. And, you know, it'll aud audibly tell you, you know, these two go up, these two go down, this one stays, so on and so forth in that little screen. And these tell you, you know the average power levels of who to fight and then you can pull up their teams obviously you should focus the one with the most if you can although it's wise to see kind of what teams are here you know as you can see here a sherlock mim cheese ish team you're like hmm that sounds kind of tough the double Cthuga that might not be you know as easy to clear with just a mim so you know throwing decent well put teams in here you know is probably what i would do although some of these middle ones look fairly simple fairly easy but again i just like to kind of base the higher power levels and see where i can go so it's like anything above four i don't even worry about it and then the next one is three four which is not bad and then two eight and there's 60 so that means more than 50 people should be, you know, fairly easy to win on that one. Um, and again, it's on top of that, you know, knowing who to throw in. One thing that I look at is the buffs. Sometimes, you know, there's more attack. Although it looks like, I guess, this week, dude is going all all HP, which is fine. You know, I don't, I don't really mind. Extra stats help no matter what it is. Um, but... Even if you don't make the top, I wouldn't worry about it. Because I want to talk about the frames as well as the teams. Um, so I guess first things first, you don't want to throw all your super strong guys into any fort. It doesn't matter which one it is. Unless if you only have one team. And then you still might want to hold one or two people back. Um, as you can see, this is a different one. You know, so I mean, I like to pair up. This one's a little bit weaker, so I wouldn't throw a ton of my you know, super high-end guys, I'd throw in some five-stars. Mim Cheese is phenomenal. Again, obviously not at five-star. Garuda is phenomenal. You know, but if it's like something you don't have either of those, then you can start to pair people up. You know, like, oh, Sherlock is a tank, and Ada can do a ton of damage because she can scale. So those two aren't bad. You know, outside of that, Garuda by herself, amazing. Um, let's see, people like that, Penny, fantastic, is even really good, um, and then pairing those guys, you know, Garuda, Cthuga, Penny, with a little bit of support, you know, like, for example, Asma with his marks, or Ormus with his heals, Sigmund with his damage reduction, and don't forget, level up one pet, and, you know, pick it, I mean, it doesn't have to be the Phoenix, because the Phoenix doesn't give buffs to everyone, the deer is phenomenal because he makes you so tanky that the five stars can kind of take some hits while the other ones ramp up. But again, it could be the dragon. The dragon is phenomenal. The griffin is amazing as well. But make sure every single time that you go to the little thing in the corner and make sure that they have put in their little banners because that's more boosts. So we still got 10. I'm going to wait till this dude says, hey, go for it, you can attack. Because there's no point if I'm going to miss extra HP or attack or crit. But you've set all that aside. You already know Guild War. What about the frames? If you make it to the top, you only need to make it to the top once. You'll keep the frame. It doesn't matter, even if you hit the bottom. Um, but it is important to still push because outside of that, you'll get extra resources. One of the most important ones that I think that we definitely need to push for is this little letter. No one really knows what it's for, but it's probably like a battle of the best for Guild War. Which, you know, I'm super excited for. But outside of that, these frames take so much to level up. 
So if you do want to level up your Royal Amethyst frame, you should probably figure out a strategy to push for it every single week because they take so much. Again, I see so many people still rocking their Maverick frames just because they don't take as much to put up. Outside of that, Guild Coins are phenomenal. But again, these bad boys take forever. So again, even if you don't make it the first five weeks, I wouldn't worry about it because, you know, it's going to be even longer until you can max it out. Um, but, you know, if there's any specific tips you want for Guild War, let me know down below. Although, I feel like there's so many different things that you could be doing. Um, so, again, I say test it out, try it for a few times, and then, you know, ask questions because we're still all learning it. This is literally, you know, the first month that it's here. But I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys, you know, relaxed for a second. And at the end of the day, don't worry about this frame, because I have a feeling come Black Friday or something, they're going to implement more, and, you know, at the, for the most part, it kind of, you know, it is what it is. Again, just make sure to take your time, communicate with your guild leader or officials, because, um, you know, it, it really feels bad. I've seen people attack before you know, they choose to use these, because again, they got their own schedules, it is what it is, um, but definitely, definitely, don't put too much stress on it for them, at the end of the day, you know, if you lose this week, there is next week, and I feel like that is super important, but also, you know, push for Guild War as well, because these frames, along with Guild War, they kind of go together, um, so all of this really interesting. I wonder if there's going to be a secret frame or whatever from the Glory Invitation. I don't know. What do you guys want to see from the Invitation? Drop it down below. Anyways guys, my name is Two Point Show. Hope you all had a fantastic day, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.